everyone. Welcome to Space Concordia. My name is Mehdi and this is Anthony. We are engineering students in Concordia University, Montreal. Space Concordia is a student-run organization involved in many projects. Currently, we are part of the Canadian Satellite Design Challenge, which gives us the opportunity to design a satellite. Last year, Space Concordia won the first edition of the Canadian Satellite Design Challenge among 10 Canadian universities. Following this, CONSAT-1 was accepted in European Space Agency's Fly Your Satellite program for possible launch next year. In this year's competition, we're building over the previous design to accomplish our mission. The main idea behind this competition is to inspire kids and students to get more interested in space and the space industry. So not only we work on cool projects, we also do a lot of educational outreach every year. We want to send a very interesting experiment in space. Imagine when you fall and you scrape your knees, your skin starts bleeding. But your bleeding stops as your blood coagulates. So basically, your skin has the ability to heal itself. The material in our experiment behaves in the same way. It can heal itself after it's, it's been subject to damage. Now this is very significant because of the number of debris that's found around the Earth. Currently, there are more than 300 million objects orbiting around the Earth. Some of these objects are man-made debris, such as dead or alive satellites and other parts. And some of these objects are micrometeorites, which can be very dangerous for space exploration. More than 90% of these micrometeorites are actually smaller than one millimeter. What makes them very dangerous is their very high velocity, so at impact they cause a lot of damage. The sail filling material is a composite that contains carbon fiber and epoxy. The blue dots represent tiny microcapsules that are embedded in the epoxy. The red dots are the catalyst. As soon as there is damage on the material, the healing agent is released from the microcapsules. It's then transported to the damage area through the cracks. The catalyst then allows this reaction to happen. After the reaction is done, the cracks from the damage will not propagate anymore. This material has never been tested in space before. We'd like to see its behavior in orbit and get very valuable data for researchers around the world. Our ultimate goal is to prove that this type of material can be used in future spacecrafts. For example, in a trip to Mars, the spacecraft is in constant danger of being hit by a very small meteorite at all times. We are fundraising money in this campaign because this is a student-run project. In order to build our satellite, we're going to need more than $30,000. The budget is so high because the components that we need have to meet certain requirements to be able to function in space. For example, just to generate enough power to operate in space, our satellite is going to need super efficient solar cells. Just the solar cells alone are going to cost us over $8,000. With your help in this campaign, we're hoping to fundraise over $15,000. Hello, my name is Mark Garno. I, I have the privilege of being Canada's first astronaut, and I want to tell you about an incredible team of young people at uh, Concordia University, which is in my riding. The Space Concordia group, uh, this group, has actually designed and are building a spacecraft that's going to go into space. Uh, this is really quite amazing. Uh, a young group of very talented people who are putting together something that's really quite extraordinary. Uh, they're doing the design, they're checking the design, they're going to do the testing on it and get it all ready and manufacture it so that it'll be ready to go into space. But they do need your help and I hope that you will help them in this extraordinary venture by contributing uh, some of your money uh, for this very, very worthy cause. This really is important. This is a chance for you to participate in something that is quite unique. Thank you very much.
Yeah. Hey.